blessing of meeting, he immediately extinguished a fume-filled cigarette with a smile. I presented him the audio cassette of Bayan, namely the first night in grave, which he played instantly. I also sat with him to listen to the Bayan as it is a useful way to persuade others to listen to the Bayan. Alhamdulillah, he felt the impact of the Bayan, repented of his sins and came to fizan Madina with me to attend the Ishtima. Subhanallah, my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madri channel, did you realize how effective and useful individual effort is? Therefore, we should preach to every Muslim individually and invite them to Salah. Whenever you come to attend Ishtima sector by bus, you should request the driver as well as the conductor to attend the Ijtima. If somebody does not get prepared, give him an audio bayan cassette and request him to listen. Take the cassette back from him after he listens and give him another cassette and make every possible effort to take away the song cassettes from them and get bayans dubbed onto the cassette and written them in this way inshallah azawajal, at least a few sinful, sinful cassettes will be wiped out one should never give up making individual effort and guiding others Allah azawajal, the creator of the world as well as the hereafter said in ayah number 55 surah azariyat para number 27 translation kanzul iman and adomnish for adomnition benefits the muslim काश तबलीग करता फिरूं जा बजा सुन्नते आम करता रहूं जा बजा गर सितम हो उसे भी सहूं जा बजा ऐसी हिम्मत Habibe Khuda di jiye. Ameen. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Translation for that couplet. Would that I give invitation to goodness everywhere. Would that I spread the sunnah of the Prophet everywhere. Give me the strength. O oh, the beloved of Allah Azzawajal. To tolerate even if I am oppressed everywhere. Ameen. Bijahin Nabi Ameen. Brothers, Islamic brothers and viewers of Madri channel. Those who often seem busy and interested in unnecessary decoration of their house and shop. Listen to two sayings of the king of Sayyids. Sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam. Along with commentary about the construction of house and pick up the Madani pearl of adomnition. Number one, according to the hadith narrated by Hazrat Sayyidina Khabbab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the king of all the prophets, the last prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, reward is given to a Muslim for every expenditure except this soil. Allahu Akbar. Commenting on the foregoing hadith, Hazrat Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan alayhi rahmatul mannan, a renowned commentator on the Quran and hadith says, a Muslim gets reward if he spends money on eating, drinking, clothing, etc. with good intention as they are a source of worship. But there is no reward in unnecessary construction of the house. Therefore, don't be fond of building house as it is waste of time and wealth. Remember, my dear Islamic brother, remember that here the unnecessary construction of worldly buildings has been condemned as for construction of masajid, madrasa, with good intention. It is a type of worship as they are means of perpetual reward, continuous reward, sabab e jariya. Likewise, necessary construction of house with good intention, such as the intention of worshipping Allah Azzawajal in a peaceful and uninterrupted atmosphere or environment is also a good deed. Here the people who are often seen getting their houses renovated unnecessarily and frequently with new styles have been condemned. Now the second hadith. Hadrat Sayyidina Anas radiallahu ta'ala narrated the king of Arab, the beloved prophet of Rab sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam said, 
all the expenditures are in the way of Allah Azzawajal, except the construction of buildings as it does not have any goodness. Allahu Akbar. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Ali Rahmatul Bannan said, making unnecessary worldly buildings is israf, waste of money, which is a sin. The saint of the saints, the beloved valley of Rabb, the matchless peer, Hazrat Sheikh Abu Muhammad Abdul Qadir Jilani, Huzur Ghose Azam Radi Allah, passed a house which was under construction. He read out the following couplets in Arabic, the translation in English. Are you under the impression that you will live for good in the house you are making? In fact, just the shadow of a tree is sufficient for the traveler who was to stay for only one day and has to leave the next day. Hazrat Sayyiduna Ali Khawas rahmatullahi ta'ala would condemn the person making his house. He would say, you will not get satisfaction and peace of mind even after spending huge money on the construction of this house. Oonche oonche makaan the jin ke tang kabroon mein aaj aan pade. Aaj wo hai na hai makaan baaki naam ko bhi nahi hai nisha baaki. Those who had high buildings are now in their narrow graves. Neither they nor their houses persist, not even their names. A young man belonging to Multan reached a foreign country where he earned a great deal of wealth that he sent to his family for the construction of a marvelous house. And the young man sent money for many years. At last, the construction and decoration of the house completed. When the young man returned the country, the preparation of this splendid house was at its peak. But alas, the young man passed away just one week prior to moving into that marvelous house. He was shifted into his grave instead of his palatial home. Jaha mein hai ibrat ke har su namune, magar tujko andha, کیا رنگ و بو نے کبھی غور سے بھی یہ دیکھا ہے تو نے جو آباد تھے وہ محل اب ہے سونے جگہ جی لگانے کی دنیا نہیں ہے یہ عبرت کی جا ہے تماشا نہیں ہے the translation of that couplet there is adomination everywhere in the world but color and fragrance has blinded you don't you see the houses in which people lived happily are now desolate too. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhavi channel, Ah, sometimes man is ignorant. He is obvious of what is going to happen to him. According to a narration mentioned in Ghuniyatut Talibin, many people's shrouds are washed and ready, but the people who are going to wear them are wandering in markets. Similarly, many people whose graves have been dug and are ready, but they are lost in rejoicing. Some people are laughing, but the time of their destruction is close. Many people are busy building houses, but they die before the completion of the construction. Agah apni maut se koi bashar nahi. Saman sau baras ka hai, pal ki khabar nahi. No human being is aware of death which no one can ever prevent. You prepare for a hundred years, but are not aware of the next moment. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhavi channel, how long will we lead our life ignorantly in this world? Remember, one will have to leave this world suddenly. Marvelous houses, high palaces, wealth, diamonds, pearls, gold, silvers, fame, Worldly sources will not benefit you. The sensitive body will be lifted from the soft mattress and put in the grave without a pillow. Narm bistar ghar pe hi reh jayenge. Narm bistar ghar pe hi reh jayenge. Tujko farshe khak par dafnayenge. You will be buried on the ground of dust. Soft bedding will remain in the home. My dear Islamic brothers 
and viewers of Madri channel listen to